It is uh, October 30th and there is a protest going on worldwide at McDonald's. The Humane League is putting this on and we've got some activists out here today in front of McDonald's on uh, 2nd West and 5th South getting some information out to the public, letting them see uh, their message, which is animals are being abused, animals are being raised in terrible conditions, they're not being treated humanely whatsoever in McDonald's factories and McDonald's supplies, and that's beside the point that they're being killed, which is impossible to be humanely um, for food, so they're one of the worst companies out there for this infraction. They're also, as you know, one of the worst companies out there for marketing to kids and feeding them their poison and people are dying every year because of it. And they're definitely just one of the worst companies of all. And on top of that, they won't even offer a, a vegan or healthy plant-based option while all the other companies are doing it. So this company right here, billions and billions salt, slaughtered and sickened every year. Not a fan. I'm not loving it. That's the motto on the Humane League. And I'm not loving it either. Their theme song should be, they're killing you. And they're killing the animals. And they're killing the planet. Ba -da 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 -da. All right, appreciate these guys out here from the Humane League. Speaking up for the animals, trying to end slaughterhouses and getting corporations to listen. Okay, finally in the car, it's freezing out there. So I met Joni and George from the Humane League. Uh, she's the only rep here in Salt Lake. It's a group against corporations and slaughterhouses. So it was great meeting them, uh, great meeting you guys. We're gonna go to Vertical Diner and I'm gonna share a bunch of information about what we do with her and some documentaries. They're, you know, got a lot of information to share with some fellow vegans that are out to uh, abolish animal torture and cruelty and murder, so. Excited about that. Funny story, we're in the, standing out there and the McDonald's employees came out with four hot chocolates and four bottles of water and offered it to us. It's like, it's cold out here. Do you guys want some hot chocolate? They graciously declined. And I walked back in to use the restroom and, and explained to the gals that um, they were vegan and the hot chocolate wasn't gonna be possible because of the dairy. So that was nice of McDonald's. I don't think they knew what they were out there doing. They didn't ever look at the signs that they were holding that <laughs> said that basically McDonald's sucks. Um, not in those words, but the Humane League's very uh, professional, professional signs. I'm not loving it.com and hashtag Humane League. So targeting corporations, pressure from uh, bad publicity and the public to force them to improve their slaughterhouse conditions, their animal conditions, and Obviously, better conditions is not really what the ultimate goal is, but if we can get more big companies like McDonald's offering vegan options and having more uh, acceptable conditions, at least, for where they're getting their animals from, then that's a start. And of course, we won't stop until we have full animal liberation and every cage is empty until they're all free. So that's the goal. and. We're going to continue to fight for it. York Vegan Hayes here, signing off. Peace out.